AJA Video Systems, proud supporter of Just Seen It, offers a wide range of professional acquisition and post-production solutions. Learn more at AJA.com slash PTV. After years of marriage, the Fishers are divorcing. When his sightless dad moves out and gets a guide dog, Henry thinks he is being replaced. But as the dust settles, Henry sees a new beginning in Growing Up Fisher. Hi, I'm Rachel, here with Aaron and Sean, and we're here to discuss Growing Up Fisher, a new NBC show. We've all just seen it. Sean, what'd you think? The showrunner here is DJ Nash, who made Tell Death. We've seen the first two episodes. And what I got out of it was NBC has made another bland, boring, generic sitcom with a lot of silly, old-fashioned jokes that really has nowhere to go. And I, I'm afraid to say it'll probably be canned pretty quickly. I, I hope don't not. think so. Yeah, I don't think it's going All to. All right. I think it's a great show, and, and here's the reason why. Yes, the premise isn't that original. It yeah. actually reminds me very much of The Wonder Years, and we even have voiceover kind of like The Wonder Years. But what's... <laughs> what's I mean, it's really any sitcom in the last It's any sitcom. Years. It's a coming-of-age story. But the characters are lovable. They're well-written characters, and mm -hmm. especially J.K. Simmons' as Mel. He is just sassy. This character is so understated. Everyone has their own shtick. It does work for mm -hmm. me. There's a lot of heart to the show. There is. And that's what makes it worthwhile for me. And honestly, we don't have that many shows coming out with new premises. So, I mean, yes, yeah. the premise isn't new, but we do have the father who's blind, and we're dealing with different social issues. And just that twist alone is enough to make, you know, these characters interesting. I disagree completely. I think what you're seeing in the Mel character is actually the talents of J.K. Simmons, yes. which are thorough, but the writing of the character is very bad, I actually think. The, the jokes that they're using, I could see right through these blind jokes, unlike the character. You might as well go back to when blind jokes were invented because these are the exact same yeah, jokes. Yeah, so what? I mean, uh, well, so what? I mean, go back and watch somebody well, do stand up about well, a blind time you've had a I mean, sitcom that's about a bl with a yeah. blind character. I'll tell it. you, you saw it in Arrested Development. It was the reverse of it. Yeah. Julie okay, Dreyfus fine. was pretending to be blind, that's mm -hmm. playing right. a lawyer that's who right. actually wasn't blind. Here you have a lawyer who's pretending not to be blind who actually is blind. So they just took it from that sitcom. Okay, but Jason Bateman's in both, so it's okay. <laughs> Well, here's another thing about the voiceover. Just, the voiceover, I think, was not written for the show. It, uh, came I after believe the it came after the yeah. fact because it hmm. over-dramatizes everything. We've got him saying, like, you'll never believe how in the world I mm -hmm. found out my parents were getting divorced. Right. The next scene is he goes in the living room and they tell him they're getting a divorce. Yeah. It's nothing special whatsoever. And so the vo for the voiceover to, to give that to you in that, way is disingenuous. Well, here's yes. what I think. This is a very wholesome show. It's not going to be for people who are looking for something new and edgy. It's not going to be for everyone that are going to cancel it's that going to, four episodes. No, it's a good, <laughs> it's, a, it's really, it's a great family show. I mean, I remember growing up watching The Wonder Years with my whole family because it was something that was cute and funny, but it wasn't like too edgy. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't going to offend the kids. It was cool enough that the parents were involved. I feel like this is that show. This is a Midwest family show. I would watch it. And I think there, there is a market for it. The kids are all funny. I think the, the youngest son, played by Eli Baker, the main character of the show, he's funny. He's, he's got good. He's charm cheeky. to him. Can I help you? Is the apartment still available? What? You running away from home? I guess technically my dad is. Oh. This could work. Ooh. This is a tiny bedroom. It's a pantry. This is a huge pantry. All these things, they're spinning their wheels, they're trying to figure stuff out. I think the performances are the strongest part. Yeah. If there's anything to keep people watching, it'll be that these people create charismatic characters. Sure. A uh, couple of things. <laughs> One is, you're talking about a wholesome family show. The second episode, the little kid pretends to be blind in order to get a girl. Then at the end of the episode, the girl finds out he's been pretending it's to be blind. It's wholesome for 2014, Sean. And she still goes with him. No, she she actually finds him more interesting at the end of the episode. Does not. It's because a different he has girl. Lied. It's a different girl. But it's she witnesses other... him telling the truth to the other girl and goes, really? You were pretending to be blind? Let's hang out more. So the wholesome family element is stripped from this that. This is wholesome because for not, now. That is one instance. Not, wholesome there for are now. 15 wholesome instances in the first two episodes and that, that are counter not counteracted by the simple one that you just mentioned at the end it's of the a second. Very Awesome. You need show. to learn lessons. You, That's the, fine. He does learn a lesson. I don't think dad he does. teaches him a lesson. Lie through your teeth and you still get no. the girl. I, that's what I learned <laughs> from the second That's not at all. J.K. Simmons. No, even there's honesty. There's honesty. Right. He does. J.K. Simmons yes, so learns the, the lesson. Boy. The so adult the learns the lesson. So the does child does not. So does he the does. other thing is he Jenna does. Elfman's character. Okay, Jenna Elfman's character. Arcade Fire was influenced by Bruce, Bruce Springsteen. No, that was terrible. That you was the worst well part of the show. You might as well say it's the Beatles, for God's sake. Don't even she, get me started on that. She decides to be friends dialogue. with her daughter. That was writing. 
It was writing. She mm -hmm. decides that she wants to be friends with her daughter, not her parent. At the end of the episode, she goes, you know what? That was a mistake. I need to be a parent. The catharsis scene does not take place between Jenna Elfman and the daughter. It takes place between the daughter and the son. For a family genre, it's not over-the-top schmaltzy. There are funny lines. They're worked into the plot. They don't feel like tack. I, I hate watching sitcoms where it's just like, they wrote the sitcom, and then they're like, let's put the jokes in now. I feel like this was written with the jokes uh -huh. as part of the plot, which I like. The throwaway lines are funny and witty. And while this is certainly not groundbreaking, it is much less lazy than so much of what's out there for a family sitcom. Mm. Growing Up Fisher needs some maturity of its own if it hopes to survive in the mid-season. Skip it. This show is a gem. It's not earth shattering, but it's sweet and sassy with sweet and sassy J.K. Simmons. See it. This show is mildly hilarious, but it does have a few problems. It has some time to figure it out, so for now, I say stream it. Our votes add up to one and a half tickets, which is a stream it for Growing Up Fisher. Cheers. Cheers. To Carrie Fisher. Agreed. Because she grew up Fisher, right? Yeah. Or is that Debbie Reynolds? <laughs> Sean, sorry, but you're actually off camera. You're leaning. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's literally what we were doing. <laughs> Just Seen It is made possible by Adobe and the Adobe Creative Cloud, including Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and After Effects. More information is available at bit.ly slash adobeptv.